And now we're going to be covering Outside Halo. This is going to be obviously a continuation of our answering the questions that you guys posted. So the first comment in this section is going to be from Shirley. Okay, question, why did you guys get my name wrong? Lol, just kidding. My real question is, what are your favorite games besides Halo? So Shirley was... Um, I think she put together the space vehicles that I mispronounced yeah, space her name. Vehicle. I, I think you misspelled it. <laughs> yeah, I, I fucked like, that up. Horribly, but oh well. <laughs> uh, but on to her question. No what, one likes her anyways. What, so. <laughs> what do you guys, or what are your favorite games besides Halo? Um, I guess I'll go ahead and start that. Um, Halo is my main game. I like the forging mostly. Um, but besides Halo, I play COD sometimes just if I want to turn off my brain and just play, you know, just kill people and uh, do that quickly. <laughs> Uh, besides that, I have to say my all-time favorite game is the Total War series. Rome Total War, Medieval Total War, Napoleon, Shogun, all those games. And they actually have a new one, Rome 2 Total War, and I might be covering that content on the second channel. Yeah, um, other than Halo, the only thing I really play is Mass Effect at this point. Like, I, I love the single player in that, and then I actually still play multiplayer in Mass Effect 3 because it's really awesome. I, I used to play, like, Battlefield and stuff, but I just don't have time anymore. I've played, like, StarCraft and stuff. Um, but I think that the real thing... I mean, video games are kind of overrated. Used silverware is, uh, you know, much better. Anyway, so. <laughs> I've got the biggest smile on my face right now. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, Moo X Seal 526 says, do you play any RTS games? I guess we kind of discovered that. Uh, I, I've played StarCraft I played Star Wars Empire at War back in the day. Yeah, I oh god, Age of Empires used to be my thing. Then I tried StarCraft a little bit, but uh, it's always been Rome Total War. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, it's an awesome game where you build cities, command armies, um, and when you do the armies, you go into a sort of a flying camera over the troops. And it's not like Civilization where when you do your battles, it's all just like from the campaign map. This you go down and you can command individual troops. You can zoom in and see each specific guy in each legion, blah, 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 whatever. So it's a fun game. Um, and then SGRBZ says, what kind of stuff do you do outside the YouTube channel? Well, uh, do you want to start with that? or? Um, yeah, I mean, so outside of YouTube, I mean, we explained like the other games we play. But, uh, you know, outside of gaming, completely apart from that, you know, I'm a college student. I study business. Um, I'm really into music. I, I, I really like Muse, Rush, Dream Theater, Nine Inch Nails, Pink Floyd. Uh, Etc. I play guitar. Um, and that's kind of my like go-to hobby um, at this point. But I also like you know hanging out with friends, uh, rock climbing a little bit. I've done mountain biking. Uh, you know, hanging out with my my friend's got a jet ski, so we do you know tubing and stuff. Um, and other than that, uh, I guess that's that's the gist of it. You know, I mean, try to try to balance everything with you know school and you know the channel and then just having a social life and all that so yeah um well let's see outside youtube the the whole youtube thing kind of blew up for us or at least for me one two years ago when we started doing it and it started taking up a lot of time but i mean besides that due to shit ton of other stuff um so like um duck i'm also in college i'm a second year mechanical engineer so we have a fuck ton of work but besides that i just gotta blow off steam um so i'll do all sorts of stuff here um, we have a paintball course nearby at the, uh, the ROTC camp, so I go there relatively often just with friends. Um, I'm actually like 5-10 minutes from the beach, I'm in California, so we'll do that, we'll surf, we'll swim, um, uh, we'll do all sorts of stuff like that. Um, I'm part of, uh, a club called Ski Club. I'll probably have to show you guys a bit about what that is. It's a crazy club where 99% of it is actually not skiing, and they do all sorts of crazy parties. Like, we went up to, um, to Brighton Resorts up in, uh, in Utah, and we had to convince the family that we were part of um, a religious couple's retreat uh, in order to get 40, 50 college students to book a house while the Mormons were gone. So we went and partied there. So that's like the kind of stuff we do at ski club, ski club elections, all this shit that happens and goes down. Um, but yeah, we do a lot of other stuff. Um, I guess sports-wise, I don't work out, I mean, I work out now, but I don't do any organized sports besides pick up soccer and volleyball. Um, Doug, you play anything right now? Uh, no, I don't really do, I, I was never really into team sports, I ran track in high school, um, and I've done stuff like, like I said, mountain biking, rock climbing, did, uh, I was into airsoft for a while, um, but yeah, never anything like football or soccer or any of that. 
Yeah. And then um, Go Bias Six says, "To Psycho Duck, how is your voice so silky smooth?" <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just uh, it's it's I, flossing. I, it must be you just floss every day, clear your throat out, do everything. <laughs> yeah, you know, just uh, practice. You got to maintain your voice. <laughs> right. No, <laughs> I don't know what to say. That um, dark. Screamer 785. Uh, that's a fitting name given the question. In one of your vids, I can't remember which one of you it was. I think it was Oakley mentioned something about being at a Linkin Park concert. That was actually me. Um, so my question is, what is your favorite Linkin Park song? Um, I, I don't know. Oakley, do you like Linkin Park? Yeah, I mean, so, in the end, definitely. What I've end, done. Um, I like yeah. the the Jay Z remix that they have. God, that one's one of my favorite ones by then. Um, yeah, I was really into Linkin Park in high school. I kind of fell out of them, like like I was saying earlier. I like some more kind of complex music now. But I've seen Linkin Park live twice. They put on a good show. Um, and favorite song by them? Yeah, I mean, in the end, One Step Closer. Uh, you know, basically a lot of stuff off their first album but and their second album. Um and then after that, it's not as good. But Minutes to Midnight had some good songs still. And they've still got some good stuff, but it's... Yeah, the new album's got some decent songs. I like it. But, I, I yeah, I like their classic stuff. Right. Yeah, their classic stuff was a lot meatier. Um, heavier, you know, cooler. I yeah. Um, I guess in terms of other music, we'll just drag this out a little bit longer. Um, yeah, I listen to... Linkin Park and Blink-182 definitely my top two favorite bands. Um, I just like that kind of music. It hits me for all moods. Um... Rise Against is kind of my go-to workout music, just because they're I love their songs. Um, and lately, I've gotten a lot into uh, electronic music, and just because a dabbling in dubstep, I like the idea, but electronic music takes it a step back, and it's a little more organized. I don't like the uh, the hardcore dubstep anymore. That fucking blows my mind. Um, so I've been doing a lot of that. I went to a big concert a couple weeks ago. Um, then I'm going to a Wiz Khalifa concert uh, for 420. That'll be fun. Uh, yeah. I, I I like the music that this random guy outside my window is just drumming. <laughs> for I don't I don't know if he's even got like drums. It's not a drum set. He's just like hitting something. I don't know what he's doing. He's been at it for like an hour. Hopefully you guys can't hear it. Um, um and, and then the X Silent Seven. V. Did someone just smack? Or wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Did someone just smack the emotion? Out of Psycho Duck. I asked him on 343 forums. So he said he has emotion. But you can't know for sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I uh, have plenty of emotion. I, like, I know it's weird. Because, like, I, you know, I talk to people. When I'm actually talking to people, you know, in person. Or, you know, even, like, on Xbox or whatever. Everyone's, like, you know, telling me I'm crazy. And, you know, I get asked, like, dude, are you, like, high all the time? And I'm like, no, I'm not. But, like, <laughs> um, there's a... I'm just kind of a goofy guy. But then it's kind of different when, when you're commentating, you know, especially for me when I'm talking about, you know, like, principles of map design and stuff. It's not, like, it's hard to get that conversational element, you know, because normally when I'm, when I'm having a conversation, I'm, you know, like, wild and rambunctious and stuff. Um, but, you know, when I'm just commentating, it's kind of more of a one-way thing. And I'm trying to get a point across. It's you know it's a little bit harder to infuse like energy in that. I guess and I guess that's you know a weakness of mine as a commentator. Although if you go back and watch like oh go my watch first, go watch my first video right <laughs> yeah I mean if if you if you compare like back back in the day my commentary was you know not very good um, and now. I mean, I'll, I'll let you guys be the judge, but I think it's at the very least significantly better. Um, you know, I, I, I do try to keep it interesting and, you know, have energy in it while still talking about, you know, more, try, trying to be more authentic with, like, talking about, you know, map design and stuff like that, so. Yeah. Um, and then lastly, Bob McMillan wishes us a nice day, um, and he thanks us kindly for doing this for the community. So, yeah, we, uh, we thank you guys for all the questions. We may do this again in the future. I think it's kind of cool to be able to interact with you guys. Um, now, I know this is a whole long series of questions uh, and answers, 
So in the future, we'll probably limit it a bit more. But anyways, we want to thank you guys for your continued support. This has all been to sort of to celebrate our 75k subscriber mark. Um, and we'll be coming up with some free giveaways soon in the future, so stay tuned to that. I also right. have a, a controller I got that I'll probably be doing a giveaway for you guys. So stay tuned. Yeah. Um, and, th yeah, again, thank you to all of you guys. You know, you're why we do this. So, I, you know, I, I hope you guys continue to enjoy uh, watching THFV videos. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for your support. We'll see you guys out there. Peace yeah. out.